the Nigerian government and the strike. So we need to build a formidable military intelligence, a formidable national intelligence network that will be able to curtail this information. Intelligence simply means something new. Get us information about the plans of this enemy so that you will go before this enemy and decimate them. If you don't have an effective intelligence network and these guys are hitting us so hard, I tell you, Nigeria is play, playing the part of Afghanistan. I beg God forbid. But as it is now, it's not too late. If only the government perceive this uh, imminent and dangerous threats. They need to eliminate the threats okay. because if you go into the hierarchy of protection, uh, when whatever poses threat to human life must be eliminated. So the government should start eliminating the threats. So, I mean, you, you mentioned as, as well, you know, the, the effect that the economy has on, on um, insecurity, poverty, and all of that. The economy is going crazy now. Is there, is there any short-term fix to this talk about you know getting the youth engaged? so that they can get out of what is a cycle of violence and, you know, just insecurity and banditry and terrorism. Is there a short-term fix or at least medium-term? Because when I hear we need to get the young people engaged and create jobs, job creation is a very long-term process. It's a long-term process. Is yeah. that something we can do in the immediate? Well, you know, like, like the last time this government uh, came on board, they told us they were going to be giving us 5,000 naira. See, today I've not gotten my 5K. The body is still giving me 5,000. You know, <laughs> you see, don't say what you can't do. You know, sometimes most people think uh, the political space is where you come and lie to the Nigerian states. You don't just come and lie to the Nigerian states. You are there to uphold the integrity of this great nation. And the uh, majority of the problem we have, one of the problems we have in Nigeria is accountability as well, from the horizontal and vertical plane. People are not being held accountable in office. You come to office, spend two, three years, do nonsense, get away, nobody's calling you to come and give an account. You are a military commander, three of your soldiers die in the battlefield, you are not called to come and account if the essence of that death is caused by mechanical error, whatever the case may be, you just go. A few years ago, Ebuka, some United Kingdom soldiers were going to Afghanistan, and uh, 14 of them died in, an, in the helicopter. The, the family of those people sued the, uh, the military. Why? Because you can't tell me that my brothers and sisters that are well trained, that are supposed to protect this country, died by mechanical error. So if we fix the military first of all, then come back to the uh, youth as well, then we need to start looking at employment. But for me, getting this result is going to be a long-time plan. The only short-time plan is for you to start you know, engaging most of these guys in our security, like the military, the police, whatever, whoever is interested. Because those days, like when I joined the army 25 years ago, it was so hard to join the military then. A lot of screen and so on and so forth. So we need to open the, the training and also build like 2 million military uh, cap 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 capacity. Uh, right now, the Nigerian military all put together Army, Navy, Air Force, I don't think they're up to 1.5 million. So we need to be looking at building 3 million people, then we can get employment from that area then. Create more agency. I rightly talked about uh, taking out the bad guys from the street because a potential a child on the street is a potential threat uh, to the government. Create ministry of homes, you know, where by this ministry will take out those guys that are vulnerable on, on the streets. Then you create more jobs. And also look at other sectors as well. Let it be on merit, pragmatism, and uh, honesty. Uh, Singapore, when they finally divorced with Malaysia in 1957, uh, Malaysia had thought Singapore would not succeed, but Singapore succeeded based on uh, meritocracy, pragmatism, and honesty. So we need to start giving people jobs and appointment based on meritocracy, pragmatism, and honesty. Then a lot of people that are jobless will find their way into government and other industrial areas. Create more industry, but nobody wants to come and establish businesses in Nigeria. The cost of diesel is very high. Uh, tax, uh, excessive tax as well, and insecurity. If we suffer from insecurity, then we'll insecurity, the more insecurity, the more joblessness, because nobody will want to come and invest his hard-earned money in a country whereby you kidnap.